hello all in our previous video we have made this one okay the front end part of our login system now whenever i click on this register here i should be redirected to another page and their register page should be open and now we are going to style that one okay now here let me just show the demo okay we are going to style this kind of registration account here i am having this login whenever i click on this login i should be redirected to login page whenever i click on this register here i should be redirected to this page okay now we are going to style this registration account now here now here inside this i am having this index.php i'll just do control b now here i'm just going to create one folder let me just write here partials.php okay sorry i'm just going to create the folder partials and inside this i'm just going to create registration registration.php now inside this registration.php first i'm just going to write this basic boilerplate of html now inside this i'm just going to change the title let me just write here voting system voting system registration account let me just write here registration page now below this i just have to link bootstrap css link so from here whatever link i have pasted there i'm just going to copy and here i'm just going to paste that one okay this entire thing we have done in our previous video and we have seen how to create login system this link i have already linked inside index.php i have just copied from there and here i have just pasted that one because we are going to use bootstrap okay now before that inside index.php here i'm having this inside this href okay inside this anchor tag here i am having href now inside this href i am just going to give that file path okay now here i am inside this partials folder i'll just write here partials and inside that i am having registration.php i'll save this i'll come here i'll refresh this one now whenever i click on this register.php you can see i am redirected to partials folder inside that i am redirected to registration.php okay now we are going to style this page okay now we are going to style this page so inside registration.php now first inside this body i am just going to give the class i'll just write here bg dark okay which is going to give me complete background color Okay, you can see here here i got this complete background color as black now below this first i'm just going to create h1 and for this h1 i'm just going to give the class as text center because i want the text in the middle and also i'm just going to give text info i'll save and also i'm just going to write here voting system i'll save this one i'll refresh this okay now you can see here i am having this voting system now from top and bottom i just want some spacing so here i am just going to give padding of 3 okay you can give any value for that i'll just refresh okay now here i am having some spacing now below this here i am having one container inside that container i am having this heading and below this i am having all these forms okay now below this h1 i am just going to create one div and for this div i am just going to give the bg info okay bg color i'm just going to give and also i'm just going to give some padding okay because i'm having some padding inside that one i'll just come here i'll refresh this okay now you can see this container is there but here i'm not having any content inside that one so now first we are just going to give this h2 heading okay register account i'll just copy this heading and i'm just going to create h2 and for this i'm just going to give the class as text center and inside this i'm just going to paste that text i'll come i'll refresh this one okay now you can see here i am having this register account here i have given text center so my text has come in the middle now below this i'm having the form so this entire form i'm just going to wrap inside one div and for this div i'm just going to give the class as container okay in bootstrap if we use this container class then it is not going to take complete width okay it will take only the required width now inside this container i'm just going to create form action i am not going to give because whenever i click on register button i will be redirected to register.php and inside that file i will be writing the entire code now inside this form i am just going to create one div and for this div i am just going to give some margin bottom inside this div container i am just going to create input field type let it be text and placeholder i am just going to give here placeholder i will just give here enter your username then i am just going to give here required is equal to required and for this i'm just going to give here name name i'll just write here username i'll save this 
I'll refresh this one. Now here I'm having this input field. Now for this input field, I have not given any bootstrap class. Okay, so for that, here I'm just going to give the class. Class, I'll just write here form control. I'll just refresh this one. Now for this input field, I have just given the bootstrap class. So it is taking complete 100% of the width. Okay, now I don't want this width. I just want only 50% of the width. So for that, here I'm just going to give width to be 50. I'll save this. And now you can see here it is going to take only 50% of the width. And also I want this in the middle. So for that, here I'm just going to give margin auto. Now once I give this one, this input field will come in the middle. Okay, you can see here this will come in the middle. Now below that, here I'm having enter your mobile number. So from here, I'm just going to copy this entire div container. I'll just copy this one and here I'm just going to paste. Type will be text and from here, I'm just going to write here mobile number. I'll just write mobile number. I'll just copy this mobile and inside this name, I'm just going to paste that one. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Okay, now you can see here, here I'm having mobile number. Then I'm having password and confirm password. I'm just going to copy this one. And here I'm just going to paste two times for password and confirm password and type I'm just going to change it to password. Password and here I'm just going to write enter your password. And instead of this here I'm just going to write confirm password. Then name also I'm just going to give here password and for confirm password I'm just going to write here C password. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see here I'm having password and confirm password field. Now below that I'm having this image. So for that, I'll just come here. I'll just copy this entire thing. And here I'm just going to paste that one. Okay, now for this image type, I'm just going to give here file. Okay, for image we are having type is equal to file. And also I have just given this class. Now for this image, we don't need any placeholder. And also I'm just going to remove this required. And instead of this C password, I'm just going to write here photo. Okay, these name attributes are very important. Whatever values we are having inside name attribute, using that attribute, we are going to access this particular input field. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see here I'm having this one. Okay, choose file. Whenever I click on this, I can select any image. Now below that I'm having this select and inside that I'm having this group and order. So here I'm just going to copy this entire thing again. And here I'm just going to paste. Now instead of this input field, I'm just going to write here select. And inside name, I'm just going to write here standard. I'll just remove this ID because I'm not going to use ID inside this one. Now inside this select, I'm just going to create options. And I'm, I just want two options. First is my voter and second is my group. And here I'm just going to write here group. And inside this text, I'm just going to write here group. And finally below this, I'm just going to write here voter. I'll save this. I'll come here. I'll refresh this one. Okay, now you can see here I'm having group and voter. Now for this, I have not given bootstrap class. So class is not been applied. So inside this select, I'm just going to write the class. And class, I'm just going to write here form select. As soon as I give this one, you can see the bootstrap class will be applied. And it will take complete 100% of the width. But I need only 50% and also I need that in the middle. So for that, here again, I'm just going to repeat the same thing. I'm just going to give the width as 50 and margin to be auto. I'll save this margin auto is nothing but it is going to divide the space equally between left and right. I'll refresh this. Now you can see here I'm having this group. Then we are having all these input fields for mobile number. I'm having password for image. I'm having then finally for group. Then below this I'm having this register button. And finally here I'm having some text below this. I'm just going to create the button. And for this I'm just going to write a register. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see here I'm having this register button. Now for this I'm just going to give some classes. Now inside this first let me just give the type. Type is equal to submit. And also I'm just going to give the class. Here I'm just going to write the class. And inside this class I'm just going to write here btn. And also I'm just going to write here btn dark. And some margin top and bottom. Let me just write here 4. Okay why means margin top and bottom. refresh this one now you can see the classes whatever i have given here that is been applied now below that i just have to give that one okay already have an account then log in here so here below this i'm just going to create one paragraph let me just create one paragraph here 
and inside this paragraph let me just copy this entire thing i'll just copy this one and here i'm just going to paste that one i'll just close this paragraph now after this i'm just going to create one anchor tag and inside this href okay i have to pass index.php file because whenever i click on login i should be redirected to home page so here i'm just going to write here home page okay this will come outside of the partials folder and i will be redirected to home directory and inside that it is going to select index.php file i'll just close this one and also let me just close this anchor tag okay i'm not getting suggestion so i'm just typing here and here i'm just going to write login here i'll save this i'll come here i'll refresh this one okay now you can see whenever i click on login you can see i'm redirected to login page whenever i click on register here i am redirected to register page now i am just going to change the color and also i want this button and text in the middle so for this anchor tag i'm just going to give the class class i am just going to give here text white i'll save this okay let me just give this one i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see the text is been changed now this entire thing i want in the middle so for that okay inside this div container i have wrapped that entire thing so for this i'm just going to give here text center i'll save i'll refresh this one now you can see that has come in the middle okay now we are done with login front end part and also registration form front end part now first we are going to see how to register and how to insert the data inside the database before that we will see how to create database how to create tables inside that one and then we are going to create the design for back end how to register for that particular user okay then we will be doing the login page then finally we are going to display the user data only then we will be able to make dashboard page and then user can vote for that particular group okay now we are done with this registration account form okay that's all for today's tutorial Thank you for listening. Have a great day.